we're chocolate, we, I think most of you have really done that and know that quite well, and to, to, to the, the, the widescreen device. However, we, we've said before that we have a mother-daughter sort of approach to some products, and the BL20 is, if you like, the daughter of the, um, of the bigger chocolate, a slider device which is now explained in film. Um, the daughter of, different approach to very similar styling to the um, widescreen BL40. Um, stylish, um, if you don't want a full touch screen then you might want the style of this type of product but you've got it with a, a slider and it does I think make a, a very firm statement. A lot of the, uh, the advertising both pre launch or the PR pre-launch and the advertising post-launch um, has developed the theme of, of style uh, even to the context of using cavemen who were extremely stylish in the way in which they <laughs> wore their loin cloths. Maybe not. <laughs> Two different approaches clearly. <laughs> Two different approaches. Next one. Um, now, with this device, I'm not going to go through all the features because you can read features yourself. Clearly, this is back to proprietary software, and it's fair to say that tonight we have a few of them to give out as well. Yeah? Yeah. Which is good because I don't know that many of you have actually had this to review either. So I, we're very keen to try and get you guys involved in the review process. Again, good research. Um, O2, I've got this device and it's out there at uh, £25 a month on a contract. Very similar um, icons to the original chocolate, um, that was many years ago now, a uh, product that did so well for us. I, I guess that it's um, right and proper if you've got a valuable property that you, you revisit it in time um, and hope that the public attaches some knowledge to the previous device but wants the updated version. Text scan function I think was shown quite well in the, um, in the video. The ability to actually scan something and then communicate it. Now we don't want to dwell too long on BL40 but um, I'm sure everybody's seen BL40 now. We have got some available for you to have a look at if you haven't seen the widescreen. And I know that um, some of the clips on the devices do demonstrate full well what a 4-inch or 4.12-inch 
widescreen function does. Have you got the brief film? <laughs> How many of you were at the um, design museum? Can you put your hands up if you were. There's quite a few. Um, that evening, we, we we deliberately chose a venue to launch something that is truly iconic. I mean, it's a very different um, type of phone. And when you see it depicted in that way, I, I think you think, "Wow, it is long. It's it's it, it's very different." I think when you see it in hand and when you've used it you realise that when you put it up against another phone, unless it's as petite as, well, as Pop, you'd, you're not really dealing with something that's that, that's that radically m much bigger. It's spelt nature, and the fact that it is um, so beautifully finished actually also helps in that regard. And it is a style statement, there's no doubt about that. Um, as you know, it's our fourth Black Label series product. Started with chocolate, we went through Shine and then Secret, and then we brought out the, the new chocolate. The idea of panoramic entertainment, it really does come to um, life when you show film on the device. But it also, as you probably know, it's, it's a really good way of looking at websites as well. So if we, we go on, I think we can show that. So that's the display compared to a normal three inch screen. Tempered glass, you'd expect that with the device. So full web display um, means what it says really. With a lot of devices you have to move side to side to be able to get the full reading uh, option. Um, with the new chocolate you don't. I think you have an explanation of that. So on a couple of standard devices where you have to move side to side, um, you don't have to when you're using the BL40. And we do think that if you are um, a web user and if you are a user of the device to watch film, then it's really the perfect uh, solution. The dual screen UI actually comes into play when you're using music or when you're actually uh, using the email function or SMS or actually um, you can work with the scheduler as well in that regard. Again, I, I, I've used the device and I actually, um, as I say, I just changed over to something recently because you do tend to try and use different things to get used to them. And I, I use the dual screen an awful lot and I found that most useful. Maybe the guys can explain some of that a bit later on when you look, look at the phone.